Hello and welcome to GXD Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what are trim tabs, the types of trim tabs and why trim tabs are required on an airplane. First, let's see what is a trim tab in an aircraft. On an aircraft, a trim tab is a secondary control surface which may be installed at the trailing edge of a primary control surface such as the elevator, rudder or the ailerons. There are different types of trim tabs that may be installed on an aircraft depending on the requirement. So let's see the different types of trim tabs and why they are installed. The types of trim tabs. An aircraft may be installed with different types of trim tabs and each tab has a separate function. The different trim tabs are plain trim tab, balance tab, anti-servo tab and a ground adjustable tab. Let's see what are the uses of each of these tabs. A plain trim tab or a normal trim tab. This trim tab is normally found on single engine aircraft and will be installed at the trailing edge of the elevator. This trim tab is used to trim the aircraft. Trimming an aircraft refers to maintaining a particular aircraft attitude without continuously giving a control surface input. An aircraft may be trimmed for straight and level flight, a constant rate of climb or a constant rate of descent. The trim tab will be controlled by a trim wheel in the cockpit. Let's consider this as the horizontal stabilizer, this as the elevator and this as the trim tab. If the trim wheel is rolled down, the aircraft will have a nose up attitude. Here the trim tab will be deflected down which will cause the elevator to be deflected up. By giving small adjustments on the trim wheel, the trim tab may be adjusted in order to maintain a straight and level flight or a nose up attitude for a constant rate of climb without moving the elevator. If the trim wheel is rolled up, the trim tab is deflected up which will cause the elevator to be deflected down. Now the aircraft will have a nose down attitude which could be used to achieve a constant rate of descent. A balance tab. The balance tab looks similar to a plain trim tab, but the balance tab's movement is linked with the movement of the control surface. This tab is useful on aircraft which do not have a hydraulic system which assists in the deflection of a control surface. When a control surface is deflected up, the tab will be deflected in the opposite direction or downward. The tab provides an additional aerodynamic force to hold the control surface in its required position and assists in the control surface deflection. So less force is required to move the control stick for movement of the control surface and makes flying the aircraft easier. Anti-servo tab. This tab is also used on small aircraft and also depends on the control surface deflection. But the difference between this tab and the balance tab is that this tab moves in the same direction as the control surface. This increases the feel on the control stick and prevents excessive movement of the control surface. This tab also prevents excessive stresses on the airframe structure and thus improving the aircraft's safety. Ground adjustable tab. As the name suggests, this tab can be adjusted only when the aircraft is on the ground. This tab can be mostly found on the rudder of small single engine aircraft. Because of the propeller, this aircraft will tend to yaw 
towards one direction. This tab may be moved to a small angle to provide better control of the aircraft on ground and in flight and reduces the pilot's load of giving rudder input continuously. So if we consider a plane trim tab, it is used to trim an aircraft to maintain a particular aircraft attitude. A balance tab assists in deflecting a control surface by moving in the opposite direction. An anti-servo tab moves in the same direction as the control surface to increase the feel on the control stick. The ground adjustable tab is installed on the rudder and can be adjusted only on the ground to prevent the aircraft from yawing towards the left or the right. So that's all for my video on trim tabs. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.